Uh, this week on Thursday night, I went and saw a comedian at the Encore Theater inside Encore and Wynn. So one of the, for those who don't know, it's a hotel down here in uh, downtown, or actually the Strip. Uh, Nate yeah. Bargazzi, and I'm probably not saying his name right, even though I heard it said tw- like two different times at the show. Um, he had a he had a little person open for him, and I. It's so funny because he uh, the little person was a was a comedian as well, and dude was funny, and he mm-hmm. he has a, a a bit in in the opening of of his act where he says people come up to him and and try to try to tell him where they think they've seen him before. And literally right now I'm like, God, what the hell movie did I see him in? Cause I can't, I literally can't remember what he's, what movies in, but, but he I was in some, him. in some, he movie. was in some, but, uh, the dude is <clears> funny <throat> and it's not like Nate or the Nate or his opener openers funny. And then his pops. I mean, I had no idea his dad was a, was a comedian also, but his dad is like, a situation, not situational, and I wouldn't even call him like a magician slash comedy. But okay. it's funny. It's funny. It's a good setup for for Nate's thing. I saw I saw him on a Netflix special probably two, probably two months ago, and then somebody's All like, right. "Yeah, he's coming to Vegas. Let's get tickets." So we got tickets. He doesn't curse. Like I, I don't know if that's just part yeah, of his life. The the uh, the Will Smith of comedy. Yeah, but he's still. But it, I, I, it's it's really funny. He's still Will Smith. Will Smith still went platinum. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my point. You know, he got jiggy with it. <laughs> um, Welcome to Miami. I uh, this dude the whole show, and it's you know it's very relatable. I th- I think he's definitely funny, funny or funnier to you know, 30, well, probably 30 to 60 years old just because he's, he said he's 42. So okay. all his humor is hitting right there with married people, got kids and all that stuff. But you know how some of these comics look at the world in a different way and then they kind of yeah. point it out and you're like, what the hell? Yeah, I look at it like yeah. that too. I just never really thought of it like that. He's that kind of dude. Really damn funny. Really funny. Well, why, let me ask you this. Why did you go to a comedy show? Um, we had, at my, it was, I think it was, it was during the cool down. So we were all sitting outside and we just right, right here off the balcony and we were just watching, I had friends over drinking wine or beer or whatever we were doing. It was, uh, it was Tom Cruise and Doobie. And, uh, I think her parents were over here too. She, her parents went with us okay. and, uh, we watched that special and dude, I was dying laughing. Like the dude is gotcha. the dude is it's funny. So somebody had said, "Yeah, he's coming to town," and then just got tickets. So all right, that's what I just wondered was, because I told I told you I went to what was it two three years two and a half years? It was all it was two years ago basically when we went for uh, Jody's birthday to go see uh, Chris D'Elia, and then he got, got canceled. See him? Then he got canceled after that. He sure did. He's back though. I was like. He had some. He had, his openers were funny as hell, though. One dude was. I, I got to look him up. Uh, he, t- he was. Just, it was hilarious, though. I'll, I'll he's back, about, but he's back. Can you imagine? But I was thinking this the other day. Remember how like his whole premise, his whole podcast was like dragging people through the mud to hit the news cycle, basically. Like, look yeah. at this. Look at this fucking senator. Like you know, and he would just drag somebody. Could you imagine if he like dragged you? And then, like, just the this, this smile on your face when you saw his ass got dragged through the media cycle. That's why it's got to be tough as a comedian. Like, you got to, your shit has to be out there on Front Street in order for you to really be able to then turn around and try to put everybody else's shit out there, right? And, like, drag them. Because part of being a comedian is it's got to be that self-deprecation up front. And be like, he's, hey. He's doing that now. He didn't do that before. Like, you never. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. You never heard him talk about his his addictions and when i say that i'm not going to put all his shit out there but um it wasn't it wasn't drugs and alcohol so no but he now he Did openly you, talks about it he actually openly have, have talks you, about the drugs he's on have you seen some of the weird stuff he's doing on youtube he did like uh, this. No, coffee. I listen. I listen. He to did like this coffee. Podcasts. This coffee with Chris segment where he went to four different coffee shops in L.A. and his cameraman followed him around. 
I don't like how he's trying to bite our style. Yeah. He wasn't he probably saw this. So. He probably listened to our podcast before we went video. Oh. That's obvious. That's obvious. Now, anyways, I was just asking why you would go, why you went to a comedy show because like that never crosses my mind. 